everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to give you a tour of the shed. I said I was going to do it in the last video, and uh, yeah, here you go. So uh, obviously, in the last video, I explained how we'd been kicked out of the unit, um, and we brought everything back home, and here is everything that was in the unit condensed into a lot smaller of a space, uh, probably six foot by four foot, I reckon-ish from a unit that was 25 by 50 foot. So uh, yeah, let's uh, show you around. So obviously this is where the channel started, just in this little wooden shed, humble beginnings and all that. Um, so if we come inside, we've got the toolbox here, all the tools, I've reorganized everything because on the drive down back home, everything got destroyed. So I've put everything back in its place, which is nice. Um, so there's all the spanners. Got some special spanners that we don't use at the back because they're from my granddad. Uh, the only snap-on tool I and he ever had. Screwdrivers, ratchets, and you get the gist. It's just it's just a toolbox. Uh, so then we've got some power up here as well. Um, I already had this extension lead in here um, from when we used to do the videos and stuff in here, but I've also wired up these two plugs. So this one goes off to that socket over there and this one goes into the switch which runs the light so then we've got the charger for the torch which is useful to have just there torch is a wall magnetic parts tray which i've borrowed from owen slash uh stolen uh first aid and fire blanket just in case uh here we've got the wi-fi dish which was at the unit um what was that Persia. Anyway, so behind there we've got the Wi-Fi dish, which was at the unit, now in here. Uh, need to run a network cable down here though. If anyone's remotely interested in seeing that, let me know. Down here, air compressor. We've got two struts and springs, which are for sale. If anyone wants them, R53 rear end. Breaker bar, because it doesn't fit in the toolbox. Uh, we've got some lights for when we work outside. Um, two jacks, some spare res plates. Down here is all Tyler's stuff and an airline, uh, jack stands, fuel, another extension lead, some spare wiring and a key safe. And then up here we've got a bit of a, a brew shelf, the essentials, uh, and then these, uh, which we had in the unit. Speakers, the subs there, and there's another speaker there. Uh, up here, like I said, we've got the power that I ran over. Um, so that's just a little Bluetooth dongle for the speakers and I've run another power down to there which runs the compressor. Um, what else we got? Safety gear, uh, overalls, Owen's drill bits that he hasn't taken home and then some cupboards and shelves that Chelsea's made me keep for one day. Don't know when that'll be. Up here we've got um, just some sprays, copper grease, Loads of different types of oil, gearbox fluid, power steering fluid, that sort of thing. Brake cleaner, uh, some biking stuff, more brake cleanery stuff. Here we've got the nut busters box, um, which is bolt removers and nut breakers and um, ball joint separators, that sort of thing. Got some e torque sockets, some um, inner tie rod removers, spring compressors brake stuff which is flaring tools um, union connector things and all that sort of fun stuff and also things to bleed brakes and wind back the calipers got my little seat uh, then we've also got an air gun uh, which doesn't work on my compressor uh, battery repairer slash charger some spare copper brake lines angle grinder electric sander that's the timing kit uh, the timing chain um, tool for the R53 and the R50, some oil, my big tripod um, for the camera, these four lights which are for sale on Facebook, if anyone's interested in them though then drop me a message, uh, I'll put my Instagram here-ish, um, they're the same as this one, real bright, you can adjust the brightness as well uh, and yeah they've not been used for very long at all, uh, just some cleaning supplies, broom, um, and then car cleaning stuff as well. Uh, that is what we used to pick the engine up on the crane. Again, cleaning stuff. We've got gardening stuff. 
and a piston from an R53. And um, yeah, that is about it. There's some miscellaneous stuff down here, like the engine crane, engine stand. But they're a bit too bulky to be inside, so they're not. They're all under sealed anyway, so they'll be okay outside. Uh, I'm not worried about that. But yeah, this is the shed. I told you I'd let you have a look around and, and see it. And uh, yeah, this is it. I'm really happy with how much I managed to cram in here, but it doesn't look messy. It's very tidy for now, just you wait. Um, the only other thing that goes in here is the lawnmower and there's a barrel of old oil, which just sort of slots in here. And even with that in here, there's still sort of space to move around, which is nice. So yeah, I said I'd give you a look around and I have, so don't come after me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Uh, I hope you did enjoy it and stay tuned for some more mini content coming soon.